this is to show you how the microsensory works. You can see on the receiver, you've got the height of the bird, the silhouette of the bird, and the distance. So you see the distance and the movement of the bird, the arrow, obviously the height. You've got the same on the app. I put off the menu, the volume. Sorry. So, you can see where we are. The blue dot is my position and that is the position of the bird. You see the bird is moving, where it's heading to. You can see obviously the height, the distance and the arrow. I will show you one second how uh, the arrow works. You can also see the maximum speed and height appearing here. Okay, I will shut off the volume. So you see the bird is coming back, you see the arrow showing the direction and moving. Bird is on above and now on the right, you see the arrow moving as well as the arrow on the receiver. It's very practical because you know exactly where your bird is heading to, where he is, in which, where you have to look. On the app, it's the same thing. You just follow very easily your animal. Another interesting feature is uh, when you have to look for the bird, you have a go-to navigation signal and uh, it is just to push this little car and it will ask you if you want to navigate to the bird to save the session, I say no and then it will open straight away Google Maps and the navigation of Google Maps. This will now calculate the best route and you just start the navigation to get to the bird. So this is very practical because you can follow the track of your bird and then just navigate to it using your navigation system of Google. Okay, now briefly I want to show you how the radio works. Uh, this is a radio receiver, it has 6000 channels. It's a digital receiver, well, and it can receive any radio transmitter in the UHF brand from 433, 434. So you push this button to have the radio and you will notice here on the loudspeaker you have a very clean beep. There is no loudspeaker noise because uh, this has a filter and it's just taking the sound and translating it into an audible beep. Obviously here we are quite close to the transmitter and the signal is strong. If I want to lower the gain and just have the exact gain I need I just push the central button and you see how it makes shorter. If I change of direction, I lose the signal, I have nothing. If I am in the right direction, it becomes stronger. And also you can hear the beep is getting longer. If I am in the not right direction, you can hear the beep is much shorter. This is very interesting and very intuitive to search. And as I'm getting closer, the beep will get stronger and longer. You see, now we're getting closer, you have the full bar. I can't move and you can see it's shorter, longer, shorter. This is a very, very accurate receiver. If I'm getting too close to the transmitter, or if I'm losing the signal, or I can, or I can lower it to put it again on here, Obviously, so if I go a bit on the side, I lose the signal. This is very accurate because we are only half a meter of the transmitter. If I go away and lose the signal, like you see now, I just have to push the center of the screen to adapt the gain automatically again. He will have a medium beep here. And if I turn around and go in the right direction, where is the transmitter, which is over there? Well, I've got the perfect beat. Okay, that's it folks. Have a nice day. Bye bye.